What's up everyone, this is Max Red. I recently had someone ask me about doing a video on swing and how to apply it with Cubase. Swing is a variation in a pattern such as drums that add a human and realistic feel. It's something you don't get with a typical drum programmer. So let's get right into it. We'll start with this MIDI hi-hat pattern. To show our swing effect, we'll duplicate this event and apply the edits to the copy. Let's solo this track and double click to see the MIDI notes. We'll also change the color of the duplicate track so we can see the events better. To begin, we'll double click the event. On the left inspector panel, we can go to the quantize tab and see the settings. Some of the settings include auto quantize, soft quantize, percentage of quantize, and grid type. Grid type can be as large as one measure or as small as one 128th dotted. We'll go back to the 1 16th. The best way to change your quantize settings to add swing is to click on the edit button, which opens the quantize panel. From here, you can apply quantize settings that can help you add more swing to your pattern. By changing the grid type and applying the quantize, you can change the rhythm of your pattern. Increasing the swing percentage will separate the notes from step by the corresponding amount. Try different grid types and percentages until you find a pattern that suits your track and preference. If you don't like what you came up with, try typing in the original values to return to the original pattern. I recommend making small and subtle changes at a time so as not to completely change the vibe of your track. Changing the grid to triplets takes away the option to add swing percentage. Let's try some more grid types like one half and see what that does. With just the one MIDI pattern, you can come up with many variations for your drums. You can also add swing to loops. Here we have a loop of the same hi-hat pattern we used in the first example. Like before, we'll make a copy and apply the swing to it in order to show the difference. In order to edit the loop, we first double click on it and we can go to our left inspector panel. In the audio warp tab, we turn on musical mode in order to apply the swing. We create a new version for the changes. Here we can adjust the amount of swing and also set the resolution. You can see the changes in real time. Now let's hear some of those changes.
resolution is similar to grid type. Let's see what that looks like. Just like we did before, we'll have to try different settings for our desired effect. We can also use the free warp tool to apply swing to our loop. This only works while you're still in musical mode. With the free warp tool, you can move the notes within the markers as you like. This is really a great tool for editing any audio. Let's listen to our original loop and compare it to the one that we edited. Now we'll listen to the loop that we edited. You can keep making changes until you find the vibe you're looking for. That's all I have for today. I hope you've learned a little bit about Swing and how you can apply it to your own beats and tracks. Please subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment to see more videos like this. Thank you.